Um, some people might say that this uh, rivalry with KU isn't much of a rivalry, but it seems pretty important to you guys. Why, why is it such a big game for you? Uh, yeah, it's definitely important. I think just for all the Kansas kids being born and raised here, it's, you know, it's for bragging rights. It's, it's just a fun game every year, um, highly competitive, you know, very emotional game. And, um, you know, it's just a fun game every year. You know, you look forward to it and um, just prepare like a normal game for us this week. With Will Howard getting to take all the – all or most of the number one reps here over the last couple of weeks, how have you personally seen him improve as a quarterback? Yeah, just his control of the offense has improved a lot. Um, you know, Will just coming in was already a really confident kid. Um, you could tell he had a little bit of swagger to him. And, um, you know, just me being, you know, a senior, um, things I've just tried to do is help him, you know, with little things, you know, just timing and, and snap and pre-snap stuff and, you know, trying to help as much as I can. But, um, you know, Skyler's done a great job helping him as well. And I think he's just evolved a lot just over the bye week as well. Cool. Thanks, Harry. Adam? Harry, as a, you were from Kansas, then you transferred to K-State back into the state of Kansas. Just how much emphasis does that give you on defeating Kansas this week? Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, it's it's always fun. Um, you know, I grew up a KU fan and, you know, would have loved to play there, but, you know, it's just not how the, how the cards came out. So i um, super thankful to be here. And, you know, every time I get a chance to play them, you know, I like to, you know, I just want to make them, you know, show them what they missed out on. I'm sure, I'm sure that all the Kansas kids want to do that. So, you know, it's just, it's just a fun game every year, you know, I'm highly competitive. And as a senior, this is your last chance to play KU. And what are you saying to the younger players on this team to explain to them how important this rivalry is and how important it is to get a win? Yeah, you know, some of us talked yesterday in a team meeting, some Kansas kids, just about how important it was to us and, you know, just made it to them basically like, you know, for Texas kids, kind of like playing UT or, you know, for Oklahoma kids like AJ, you know, they could play OU. It's just that type of game for us and they know how important it is and I'm sure the young guys will be ready to play. John? Yeah, Harry, when you think back to that game last year along those same lines, how satisfying was that for you, not just to win, but to play as well as you did personally? Uh, it, was, it was very satisfying. Um, you know, I knew, I knew going into the week that I was going to be leaned on a little bit more, so um, just tried to prepare as best I could. And, you know, I thought as a team last year, Monday through Friday, we had a great week of practice and, you know, just kind of stayed away from certain things, any distractions. I think that's what helped us win that game. And, you know, definitely something I'll remember, but, you know, passes in the past, so got to play well again this year. Yeah, with Will at quarterback being a true freshman, do you guys in the running back room feel an extra sense of responsibility? Maybe pressure isn't the right word, but to try and do more for the offense now that you're playing with Will instead of Skyler? Um, a little bit, but not much. Um, I think it's always important, especially for our offense, to get the ground game going. Um, it opens up a lot of stuff for the, for the offense, like play action and stuff for the quarterbacks. But um, I've just been so impressed with Will and how he's handled stuff. Um, he's He's been a great leader and – you know, if I would have just gotten here, I would have think, you know, he's an older, older player, you know, a veteran, just the way he handles himself. So um, I think, you know, getting the ground game, getting the ground game going is important, but I think Will will be fine, you know, either way. We talked to Coach Anderson the other day, last week, I think it was, and he was mentioning how good of a block he threw on a play against TCU. How much pride do you take as a running back in being able to block, whether it's pass blocking or run blocking? Uh, it's extremely important. I think, uh, one thing that I do is I try to take pride in everything, you know, whether I'm running the ball, catching the ball or passing, um, you know, it's huge for us as an offense when we can have running backs and, you know, line up in two or three back sets and have running backs do different things. It's, it's kind of hard to defend that. So um, taking pride in blocking and catching and running is just something that, you know, as running backs in this offense, we, we all take pride in. Thanks, Harry. Kels? Do you guys do anything special with the Governor's Cup trophy this week? Um, uh, it's in the locker room, but um, just so everybody can see it. But it, as far as I know, that's the only th that's just sitting in the locker room, so all the players can see it. Okay, so normally it's up with the other trophies. This week, you see it every day in the locker room. Yep, correct. Okay, does that? I mean, does that add any extra motivation to things? Uh, I, I mean, just seeing it, you know, it's you know that's ours, and we need to protect it. I think is the kind of the mentality we have, and. You know, seeing it every day um, just, just reminds us of how hard we need to practice and how hard we need to prepare for this game. 
one more for you. Um, the offense has been uh, kind of unusually um, geared towards running backs and tight ends this season while the receivers have kind of been uh, taking a back seat. What do you think it's going to going to take for those guys to get going? Um, I think it all just it just starts in practice and you know having a freshman quarterback, the brand new freshman quarterback, it's hard sometimes to you know, throw the whole playbook at him. So I think just as, as Will continues to evolve and, you know, we have, we've had some great receivers that have, have been banged up and we've lost some great receivers. So it's always tough when you, when you take a blow like that. But, and I think the receivers have done great this week at practice and, you know, I think they're ready to step up and um, it's tough when you lose some guys to injuries and, you know, whatever it may be. So I think they're ready though. Last one here, Mitchell. Hey, man. Um, of course, KU, um, their star running back, Puka Williams, has decided to opt out. Is it kind of unfortunate for you, a guy that's at your same position, to you're not going to have that opportunity to kind of run against him one last time? Yeah, you know, I, that was fun last year, just, you know, getting to compete against such a great running back like him. Um, you know, obviously, thoughts and prayers go out to him and his mother and whatever they're dealing with. I hope, hope the best for them. But, um, yeah, you know, definitely going to miss. It's just fun competing with those great backs and, you know, fortunately in the Big 12, we have so many great backs. Each week you get to compete with somebody and, you know, kind of go head to head. So uh, it was definitely fun.